Welcome, Excellencies, Members of Parliament, Decision Makers, Experts and Representatives of Civil Society, dear guests. I'm very sorry that I cannot be with you today in person. I had to be in Luxembourg in order to substitute for Minister Baerbock at the Foreign Affairs Council. The EU integration of Bosnia and Herzegovina is a top priority for the German government and for me personally. There's no doubt that Bosnia and Herzegovina belongs into the EU. It's not just the geography, but also the culture and the history that unites us. An EU membership could bring huge benefits for Bosnia and Herzegovina. The EU stands by its promise of 2003 in Thessaloniki that all Western Balkan countries have an EU perspective. This is the way forward. Therefore, at the beginning of this month, I traveled to Sarajevo again. I wanted to find out why is progress towards the EU so slow? What can we do together to speed it up? In most of my conversations, I received the following answer to my question. Political will is lacking. All we need is political will and then things will proceed smoothly towards the EU. So, we need to ask who lacks political will and why? Citizens are clearly in favor of EU integration as opinion polls show. They have the political will and they are impatient. In the last decades, many citizens of, of Bosnia-Herzegovina followed the slogan if the EU doesn't come to me, I come to the EU and left for a better future life in the EU. Over the past decade, several hundred thousand Bosnians have left the country to work and live abroad, many of them in the EU and here in Germany. Every second young Bosnian is considering emigration. So why do political elites not respond to the aspiration of their citizens? Why do they lack political will? A few might be against EU integration for ideological reasons. They still live in the past and want to cement a nationalistic agenda instead of moving into the future, into the EU. Some are against EU integration because of their personal interests. They benefit from the current lack of the rule of law and are afraid that the EU reforms will limit their opaque business opportunities. They have captured the state and impede the well-being of the society. They are quick to instrumentalize ethnic differences and to refer to nationalistic feelings in order to distract from their own problematic role. Other politicians generally want to lead their citizens into the EU. They know reforms are necessary not only for EU membership to meet the criteria, but also for a better and more just future in Bosnia-Herzegovina. But politicians with political will have a problem. In order to move forward, they need consensus of those that actually do not really want to go towards the EU that lack the political will. The current institutional setup of Bosnia-Herzegovina gives the latter plenty of veto opportunities. So how can we overcome them? Some say the only option is patient negotiation and compromise. And indeed, there are some good news. Bosnia and Herzegovina has a government now and there is hope that some things will move forward. For example, the national budget has been approved and the Council of Ministers has taken some decisions on reform steps. This is important also for EU accession talks as stated in the 14 key priorities. But I doubt that this is enough. Some therefore dream of the one big solution, such as a new constitution that solves all these issues of political blockades. But where is this new constitution or new big solution supposed to come from? Such a miracle is unlikely to simply drop from heaven. It can also not be delivered from the international community. Even citizens' consultations are not likely to be able to develop a suitable solution without including the concerns of the current veto players. Let's face it, many ideal clean suggestions for Bosnia-Herzegovina are already on the table. But they do not fit to this very country, a country that needs compromise and balance between societal groups like no other. The same veto players that oppose current progress will have to be included and satisfied in such a reform process as well. Otherwise, they will become spoilers. But there might be a middle ground, 
a gradual institutional reform that at the same time takes into account the legitimate grievances of all stakeholders and finds a new balance between them. What we need is a combination of all solutions. A Bosnian solution, where everything gets mixed together like in Metz. This requires skillful negotiations with no shortcuts in sight. For this conference, I encourage you to think out of the box. Fresh ideas, not only about where you want to get, but also about how to get there. That's equally important. And I'm confident that this conference, where your experience as decision makers, experts and activists comes together, can contribute towards creating this solution. And I'm really looking forward to learning about the results.